Welcome to Valhalla. Exciting times. The beta build is done. We can start printing, so we're gonna let it print for a long time now. We're gonna tune everything before we release the parts. If you're into 3D printing, DIY project, you know the drill. Hit subscribe, like, the bell. Join us for future awesome projects and also the build log for this baby Core XY DIY printer. Let's have a look. I want to share this footage with you because it's the first print, the virgin print on uh, the beta build. Let's just get started. Here we go again. First layer on I will say I would say a new printer. Everything is built up from scratch. These are the first, very first virgin layers, guys. Looking good on my painted heat bed. We are now running 60 degrees at the heat bed as well. I have not <laughs> calibrated the extruder as per normal, so. <laughs> But I guess uh, we are inside, uh, you know, where we should be. Uh, <laughs> I sort of know these extruders by now. And I'm running TMC drivers on all axes except the extruder. Uh, I, I might want to try also running TMC2208 at the extruder in um, spread cycle i think that can work spread cycle uh, on c the c axis here now works fine and uh, smooth as better very happy with that so this is just going to be a cylinder basically and i have some um, uh, some firmware issues because i cannot you know, I finally got my end stops to work, the optical ones. I need to pull some um, uh, uh, some jumpers from the board. Very strange. Never seen that, but I can I can uh, talk about that later. So, and the SD card. I enabled the SD card. That does not compile. It does not build with the SD card enabled. So I can <laughs> printing from from this guy. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm not sure what display to use. I could probably just work with this one, but I'm not really happy with the the touch screen. To use the touch screen, we need to use a stylus anyway. So if you can manage to keep this one in place, then this is okay. But from finger now also um, I'm not these displays are supposed to be working in both uh, this mode the same mode as this and and uh, touchscreen mode but um, um, I, I am not sure how to do that uh, I think I need another firmware but uh, I might look into that that could be nice if we can Utilize 12864 mode, simulation simulator mode like this on this guy with the knob, and it's nice to have the knob somehow. Yeah. So that's and um, yeah, I'm going with transparent here now. I didn't, you know, my my tint did not work very well, but I think also transparent might might work. Now we have some lights going on, which is nice. And um, smooth moves with the SKR board. Testing the circular moves, it's also always interesting. We're looking for stutter and whatnot. I need to also figure out my C steps because I'm not sure. Uh, I trust the the gearing ratio to be 17 to 1, as uh, it says. So I need to figure that out. But um, 
at the moment I'm, ju I'm just uh, trying to squeeze some, uh, melt some <laughs> plastic. <laughs> so I've got the deal touch going on and uh, yeah, everything, everything going on. Um, we might actually move the extruder in the front here and have the spool in the front. What do you think about that? Should we move the... Or should we keep this open? You might even uh, anyway you know, re remove our print from the side or just grab it from the top. So having a spool in the front here might be convenient. Also it's very easy to change if you want to change hot end when you can just do it from the front here. Have a connection point here somewhere. Oh. Ah, uh, this is so nice, guys. Um, I guess you want to build one of these also. So we're looking at about 600, I guess, U USD. Not too bad. Uh, with the proper components. I guess you can get it cheaper, but... Yeah. So I think that is it for me uh, now and uh, I will look into uh, the display uh, situation and uh, figure out what to do with that uh, as stock but uh, I, these displays are cheap and, and you know, nice but these are also cheap not not so much more so what would you like touch screen or just regular and where should we mount it is this a nice solution to have it like this or should we just you know integrate it into the panel we can just have you know, just come up into the panel here I guess, I guess a touch screen would be nice here uh, maybe and we could have both also you know like I do now a one touch and you can have a bigger touch. So we have a 3.5 uh, inch uh, display here. What if we have this display, the touch screen here, and then like a regular one uh, there? Could be a nice option. <laughs> Too many choices. <laughs> Again, yeah, I don't know. So uh, yeah, and I'm filming with my phone as you. <laughs> might see there's some uh, yeah movement going on not so smooth and um, my Osmo pocket is uh, destroyed yeah, the gimbal does not uh, work anymore so I need to buy a new one I guess I can't really wait for it. I'm trying to get a warranty thing going on but I, I guess I you know I uh, dropped it so it, <laughs> it's probably my fault uh, it's a very delicate uh, solution, this gimbal on the Osmo Pocket, so... And that was uh, from the coffee uh, money. I bought the uh, Osmo Pocket, but... Um, I'll, g I'll get something uh, else so we can do some proper... Uh, you know, we, we need now to, to do some real... Walk around on this machine and I need to do the build logs and whatnot, so... I'll get back to that. So this is just me rambling and looking at the beta beta printer and um, this is gonna run like all day every day now. So send me files to print, send me SDL links to SDLs. We need some serious uh, difficult prints to do for the baby core xy and we also need a name should we just call it a baby core xy maybe even though it might grow up uh, nah. so that's it uh, see you in the next one guys go melt some plastic <laughs>